Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. In this video, I want to talk to you a little bit about how this software saves your projects, your website projects that you're working on, and how those files work. When you first launch 90 Second Website Builder, of course, it opens with a blank canvas. This is what it looks like. We have a document that we haven't saved or named, so it's called Untitled right now. And that shows at the top of the screen. It also shows here in the Site Manager. So, of course, you need to save your project. You can do that as you work or you can do it as early as you want in the process. In fact, it can be the first thing you do if you want to. And I'm going to do that in this particular demo to show you how files are saved. When I go up to the file menu, of course I have the standard option of saving my project or doing what's called a save as. Now if you are familiar with other Windows programs, whether it's Microsoft Word or Excel or any standard Windows application, you know there's a huge difference between save and save as. Well it's true for 90 Second Website Builder. You normally just want to save your project. When you do, you'll give it a name. When you click Save As, it means you want to save an additional copy of this project under a different name. And with 90 Second Website Builder, you can do that. But you can also save this project as a different kind of project. In other words, you could save it as a template, which is a different file type I'll talk about in another video. You could also save this website as an HTML document, and it would then export your project into HTML files. That's the same as publishing locally or exporting your files to HTML. But you're going to rarely do that. Normally, when you want to convert your project into HTML, you just simply publish it, and that happens automatically in the background. But it's nice to know that these options are here, but again, you'll rarely use that one. Normally what you're going to do is just simply save your project. And when you do it the first time, of course, you give it a name. So I'm going to click Save. And here I am inside my 90 Second Website Builder folder. Now this folder or directory is very important to know about. I didn't put this here. You'll have one on your computer as well and you didn't put it there. Actually, the software did when you installed it. It created a folder called 90 Second Website Builder and it put it inside your Documents folder, or sometimes called your My Documents folder. So here's my My Documents folder. Here's that directory that the software created, and inside is where I store all of my projects. Now, in my case, I have a whole bunch of them because I've been working with this software on this particular computer for a long time. So I have a lot of website projects. Each one of these files is an entire website because 90 Second Website Builder stores your entire website project inside one file called a WBS file. So that's what each of these represents. Now your 90 second website builder directory may look empty right now. It may have only a few system folders in it or whatever and that's fine. Mine happens to have a few of them so don't let that confuse you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this untitled project we just opened up so I can show you how it works. So let's just call this my website just for the sake of clarity. It's going to be, of course, a WBS project, and I simply hit Save. So, I've done something very simple. I've just saved my website and named it. Even though there's nothing on it yet, I've still saved an actual project, and I can start designing, and of course I want to save my work as I go. Now, a fast way to save your work as you're working is to just go up here to this little icon and click Save, just like you would do in any other Windows program. Or, you can also click Control s Sometimes if you're used to doing that to save your work as you go, you can. You should also know that you can set 90 Second Website Builder to automatically save as you work in an area called the Backups folder. I'll talk about that in another video, but you should always be saving your work as you go, just to be careful. Now let's go back inside that folder where we saved our project called My Website, and let's see what happens. I'm going to go to File. This time I'm going to go to Open Website, so I can open up that same directory where all of my website projects are stored. And you'll see there's now one here called My Website. So here's My Website Project. So if I wanted to open this, it's, it happens to be open right now, but if it wasn't open and I wanted to open this, this is where I would come. I'd go to File, Open, I'd find this project, and I'd click on it and open the project. But I want to show you something that the software did behind the scenes that is very interesting. So remember the name of my project as My Website. You'll notice up here all these folders. These folders are directories that were created by the software every time I save a new project. Notice there's a folder here called My Website. Now I didn't make that folder. The software made that folder when I saved this website. 
The reason it has this folder is because this special directory is where 90 Second Website Builder is going to store all of the assets. In fact, this is called an assets folder. All of the images and all of the shapes and all of the things that I drag and drop onto my canvas as I'm designing my software will be stored inside this folder to keep it nice and organized so that the software always knows where to find those images. Now the reason it does that is because it gives me the flexibility of pulling images from anywhere I want on my computer. So if I have some graphics on my desktop I want to use in my website design or maybe I have a folder with special images in it and I pull those in and drag them into my website, that's all fine to do because what happens is as I save my project the software will automatically save copies of all those images and store them inside this special assets folder. So knowing that, that's the reason why it's really important when you're saving your projects to keep them organized. And you do that by always saving them inside your My Documents folder, which contains the folder 90 Second Website Builder. And it's inside this folder that you should be saving your projects. So that way you don't lose track of where you are and where everything is. And it lets the software do what it really does best behind the scenes. So you don't have to think about all this technical stuff. You can just think about designing your website and knowing that it's keeping track of where everything is. There's also some special folders in here, one called the system folder that the software places in this same directory. And it's in this folder where certain things are stored like templates and extensions and other system files that the software can use to help you design your websites. So it's just important for you to know that your entire website is stored in, an, in one file called the WBS file and that that WBS file is always associated with an assets folder that's keeping track of all of its assets, in other words, all of its images and certain objects. I'm going to show you another website project that I called 24-7 Web Talk. So remember I went to open. I'm going to choose this website project, click open. And so now I've opened up a different WBS file, a different website project. This one uh, has already got some stuff on it, obviously. There's some images and some jQuery objects and some text and navigation, all the things that you would use to be building a website. Now I want to show you something. When I go inside File, Open Website, again we're working with the 24-7 Web Talk project. If you look inside the 24-7 Web Talk Assets folder, you can see and I've got to change this to say all files, you can see that it's been storing all the images. Now I didn't put these images in here. These images all have come from different places on my computer, but the software made copies of, of those images, placed them inside this assets folder so it can keep track of them, so that the website that I'm building will know where to get these files. Again, this directory is created by the software. However, it's important for you to know how the software works if for some reason you were to move your project file to a different location on your computer and it couldn't find its assets folder, that would cause problems. It wouldn't know where your images are and they probably wouldn't show up. So that's why it's a good idea to stay organized, but it's also very simple to do. The rule of thumb is just make sure you save your projects inside the 90 second website builder directory, which is inside your My Documents folder. Simple enough. Another thing you can remember is when you're working with several projects, as I, as you can see I am, and sometimes I want to bounce between uh, projects from one website to another website, when I go up to the file menu, instead of having to go to open website and search through all of my projects, I can see some of the most recent projects I've had open right here. In fact, there's the most recent one I had open, you saw, and the one before that was one called my website, which was that blank one. Let me click here and see it opens up that project automatically so I can get back to work on this particular project. Or I can go back and switch between any of the last 10 websites that I've been working on under this recent documents. That's a really handy tool to be able to get to other projects on your website. So that's an overview of how 90 Second Website Builder manages your projects. Just remember, your entire website project is stored in one convenient file called the WBS. And if you remember to always save it in your My Documents folder in that special directory called 90 Second Website Builder, it'll make your workflow be much easier and smoother as you're creating websites with this great software.